Hello and welcome to the Scatterable channel and today I'd like for all of you guys to meet Jason, the dedicated $400 CSGO budget gaming computer. So believe it or not, there's actually a story behind Jason and how he was created. So my friend Derek really wanted a really fast computer for his CSGO gameplay because for the longest time, he was stuck on a crap top. And if you don't know what a crap top is, a crap top is essentially a laptop that your parents probably bought you for Christmas or your birthday, and they know nothing about technology, and it was a piece of crap, hence the name crap top. So that was the situation with my friend Derek because the highest rank he ever achieved in Counter-Strike Global Offensive was DMG, but his current rank is Master Guardian Elite. And the reason why he's been stuck is because his crap top simply can't allow him to play CSGO at the graphical intensity and speed that he wants. So he's basically bottlenecked to achieving any higher in the game. So that's why he came to me and he's like, Scatterbolt, I need you to create me a $400 CSGO budget gaming computer that not only can run CSGO, but you know, if I want to boot up Battlefield or anything like that, it can also run that too at pretty good settings. So I was like, sure, why not? So in order to create this PC, I looked up on my $350 budget gaming PC and simply added a more powerful graphics card. In this sort of price range, I prioritized graphics performance over processing performance. And plus with the CPU that we put in this build, it's actually compatible with other i5s and i7s. So if my friend did want to upgrade the processor in this build to a much more powerful i5 or i7, he completely could have done so if he wished to. But anyways, let's talk a little bit about the specs that I put into this computer. So for the processor, I went with the Pentium G440. For the motherboard, I went with the MSI Pro VD V150M motherboard. For the RAM, we went with a single 8GB G-Skill Ripjaws V-Series RAM stick, a Western Digital Blue one terabyte hard drive, an NVIDIA GTX 950, a Corsair 100R case, and Windows 10. And obviously, as you can see, we use the 8.1 Pro disc in the video, but shortly after that, that we upgraded to Windows 10 for free. Now for gaming performance, we were only able to test three games at the time I was at my friend's house, which those three games were Counter-Strike Global Offensive, obviously, Battlefield 4, and Ark Survival, which are three favorite games. So we didn't overclock the graphics card for this PC, but we were still able to get some pretty good readings by using Fraps to record the average frame rate and minimum and maximum frame rates. We couldn't actually record any gameplay due to time restraints, so we were able to at least get some frame rates through Fraps. So first, we used Counter-Strike Global Offensive. We set all these settings pretty much maxed out at 1080p resolution, and we got an average frame rate of 130 frames per second while playing a few Dust 2 matches. The minimum frame rate was at 111 frames per second, and the max was at 140. Too, so definitely not that bad for $400. Now for Battlefield 4, we set all these settings too high and we had the anti-aliasing set at two times MSAA. And we got for the average frame rate while playing a little bit of multiplayer was about 60 frames per second exact. While the minimum was at 55 and the maximum was at 64. So yet again, not that bad. Now finally for Ark Survival, this is a bit interesting because we set all these settings to about medium to low because we couldn't really crank it up to high for some reason. So we got an average frame rate of about 42 frames per second with the low being 33 and the high being 54, which is a bit surprising, especially for this computer because I'm pretty sure it would have done better in that game. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Thank you guys for checking out Jason and how awesome he is. Make sure to like, favorite, subscribe and all that. And this is the Scatterville channel signing out.